Let me see. All right, we in this thing. Let me make it not do that. All right, let me see if I can send it up here. I'll rest it. All right, there we go. All right, we good. So, <laughs> I did not give y'all a video today, but I'm here live. Hold on. So, I decided to do a live today, and I'm probably gonna do a live, um, if I'm honest, like once a week for um, the next couple of weeks, just to prepare for Black Friday, that type of thing. Um, so, do y'all like the lives or, or do y'all like videos? Let me see if I can see all the chat. Hey, everybody that's in the live. Y'all might get so dry. Let me get some lip gloss. That's better. So, I, um, I, what did I do? I went to work, went to spin, came back home, showered. As you can see, my hair is wrapped up, girl. And now I got some work to do. So, um, I just decided to go live and do the work that I needed to do. So, um, hey, y'all. I hope y'all had an amazing day today. I hope everyone is doing well. So, I wanted to get on here and talk about taking your brand to the next level because at this point i know y'all are tired i know y'all are like oh my god i'm showing up every day like i just i overthink everything i don't know what to do i don't know you know where to go i just don't know what to do with my brand and yeah today we're just gonna talk about leveling up taking it to the next level and one thing i learned that um if you overthink things, you never get anything done because you're always overthinking. You're like, is this right? Is this right? Am I doing this right? Could this be better? You know, and of course, we always want to push ourselves to the next level, but we don't want to like over, um, we don't want to like overthink ourselves to where we don't end up doing anything. So I found this photo in Hobby Lobby. I took a picture of it this morning. So I got it <laughs> and it said she believed she could but she was tired so she didn't. <laughs> That's so me. So I got it to put in my little office area. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Can y'all see that? <laughs> so it's super cute, super me and I feel like, like sometimes we put like we try to equate like what we do in a day, we try to equate that to our efforts that we put in our business. So we feel like if we don't work 10 plus hours a day in our business, then we not really trying hard enough. When in reality, if we just plan right, we can work three hours um, in our day. We can, work three, we can work on our business three hours a day and still be efficient because you know, sometimes people just want to be busy fools and it's like you seem like you're busy. So like you be like, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. But in reality, you turn around in circles. So <laughs> that's how we don't be efficient if we just turn around in circles because you're trying to figure out, dang, what do I really need to do today? What is some things that I really need to focus on? That type of thing. So to take your brain to the next level, you have to strategically think about what's important and what's not important. So I recommend that you make a list one side is the super important things must get done other side is you know when i get time i'm gonna do these things i'm trying to see what hero doing he's being bad so like for instance okay for me i'm gonna say like i have boxes to label so yeah i remember last week i told you i had 500 boxes to label by friday for my pop-up shop on saturday so that is that's a must. I can't not label. I meant label and make my boxes. So I have to do that. But I also want to change up my website a little bit, look at some more Shopify apps. While although that is important, that's not something that I have to do right now today. But if you live inside my head, it's like, we got to work on a website. We got to do boxes. We got to label lashes. We got to get ready for this pop-up shop. But then I'm thinking about my Black Friday sale. And then I'm thinking about Christmas. And then I'm thinking about next year. Like, 
you know, like we gotta train our brains to just calm down, calm down. So, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm focusing on that. So, if you just focus on the items that are really important to you today, like that must be done today, then you can grow your business and, you know, take your business to the next level because you're focusing on those most important things instead of being like a busy fool and just doing 10 million different random things. So um, that's one way you can take your brand to the next level. So the next thing I want to talk about is research. So I think that um, with research, we do it when we first start our business, but then once we are in business and we have a business, we tend not to research anymore. We don't want to research anymore. We want to, um, you know, just post on Instagram every day and we forget the research. And it's like, you can't forget the research once the business starts. Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody that's joining. Everybody saying so true. I feel you. So many ideas in my, in our head. It's overwhelming. Yes, it is very overwhelming. Um, but yeah, so we forget to do the research stage. So it's like, it's like dating. It's like before you date somebody, you like them. So you putting in all this effort, you like doing all of this extra stuff. You making sure that you text him back in five minutes. You know, a guy, he's trying to wind and dine you. He's taking you out on dates. He replies to your text messages, answering all your calls. And then y'all get together and then he just get lazy. And then he, you know, he take three hours to text you back now and then y'all might go on a date every six months now and you know he don't really whine and die you you say his money ain't right no more so then you're like dang you did all of this stuff to get me but now that you got me you ain't doing nothing you being lazy same thing with our business we do all of this work we put in all of this effort all of this time all of this all of these sleepless nights we have the best ideas we killing the research game we googling everything and asking questions investing in our business going to you know live webinars that type of thing and then we start the business and then now we just want to post on instagram once a day and we want people to come and shop with us and buy from us so we just got comfortable so that was last week live you know being uncom being comfortable with being uncomfortable to grow your business so we got comfortable in our business and now we don't research but you know even after school even after you graduate that type of thing like you have to constantly learn like you always have to be a learner same thing in our business now you are this business owner you are a ceo yeah you got this business yeah you had this great idea but how are you going to evolve it how are you going to keep it moving how are you going to keep you know following the trends how are you going to keep people coming back because people aren't going to come back if you're offering the same thing over and over again. You know, you got to spice it up. Like, you just got to spice it up. Like, sometimes you got to do a little more. Um, okay, so every time I get a thought about my business, I just jot it in my notes, in my iPhone or my notepad. Yes, I'm so good at writing it down, but then I never go back to it. So, I... Um, that don't really work for me. I write so much stuff down, sticky notes, like at work. And then I put the sticky notes on my wall at home and I try to come back to them, but sometimes that don't work. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to go, I need to go back and look at my old notes. Like I have notes in my phone from when I first started my business and I don't even know what they say, but it's probably some million dollar idea in there that I don't even know what to say because I haven't went back and looked at it. Um, same thing with my coaching business. Like I plan and plan and plan my coaching business so much in my notes and like now I don't even use any of the stuff in my notes because I rarely go back and look at it. So right now I'm trying to find a training that I had um on my page and i was gonna make it free on my website so y'all can have it but i need to find it first so that's what i'm working on right now and then i'm gonna work on folding my boxes so i wanted to ask you guys on here um if i do a um 
$5 webinar. Yeah, if I do a $5 webinar, like towards the end of the month, and it's like like a preparation webinar, um, would y'all be interested in coming to that? Okay. Y'all hear her in the back cutting up as always. Um and the reason why I put a price on it is because um I like to like do stuff um and put it together. Um it's a Black Friday, sorry. I wasn't as detailed. I, I wasn't as detailed. Um, it's for Black Friday. So, oh, let me see what y'all said. Uh, Kendra said I would. Um, Jessica said, why not for free? Because I like, oh, I was getting to that point. So, basically, I give away so much information for free. Like, literally, my whole YouTube channel is free. And not to be cocky or anything like that, but, like, the content that I give out for free, people charge, like, $150 to, like, $1,000 for. And I give it out for free. But the thing with that is that I can't continue to like produce content of course i'm always gonna be on youtube and I'll, i'm always gonna keep my content like the same like i'm always gonna give y'all this stuff for free but like i can't keep doing that and put more time into creating ebooks and creating courses and creating webinars and creating all of that stuff and like go to work and work my full-time job and run my lash business and run a coaching business so for me to be able to coach and to be a consultant and be able to profit, I have to charge for my items to be able to um, make it worth my time. So it's like I had to get paid and compensated. Just like if you went to work and you stood at a register and you knew how to like ring people up, but that was something that you knew how to do. And then your manager was like, but you already know how to do that. So why should I like pay you? Because you already know how to do that. Like, I shouldn't have to pay you. So you wouldn't go to work for free. So sometimes when I'm doing these live, um, when I do my webinars, like my paid ones, um, there is so much more information than just me and you talking on live and answering questions. It's like thought out strategically thinking like webinar. It's a power. It's like, it's a whole training um, versus my videos. They're more so like tips, that type of thing. But then if you take like my webinars, they're so much more detailed and you don't even have to think about the thought process because all the details are given to you. So I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, um, that's why I charge. Because if I don't charge, I'm going to be working at my job for forever. Just giving out free content. Which I don't mind giving out free content. Like, I love giving y'all, you know, like y'all weekly, two-week video. I give two videos a week. And it's all, like, stuff that literally people would charge you at least, like, 200 to $300 for. And I give it away for free. So, when I ask, you know, for people to spend $5 on a course, you you know, like, that's, that's not even a Chick-fil-A meal. My Chick-fil-A meal costs $8.32. So, I ain't even asking for a meal out your pocket. And if you can't invest $5 to grow your business, you in the wrong industry because you're going to lose so much money with investments, ads, products being wrong. Y'all ain't see my tweets last week and it was wrong. Let me see if y'all can see all that. All these scratches on this pair of tweezers. And, yeah. Like, all of them is scratched. And that's all money going down the drain. So, like, scared money don't make no money. And you got to spend money to make money. So, if you're just trying to, like, clench your pocketbook and hold it tight and don't spend no money, you're not going to evolve. You're not going to grow. Like, you got to 
invest in your brand. And it's like, you know what type of content I give. Like, you know when you watch my videos, like, you learn something, you grow. So why wouldn't you put, like, $5 towards a webinar to learn more? But that's just my concept on it. Um, Kendra said, invest in yourself. So I think it's worth it. Yeah, so y'all just tell me if y'all want it. If y'all don't want it, I'm not going to, like, you know, take out my time to, like, create it. But um, if that's something that y'all want, I definitely would create it. Um, she said, oh, my God, how do you find time to work? Because I'm trying to run a business. Yes, girl, I'm here for it. No excuses. Yes, girl, on time. Time, time, time. <laughs> time. I don't know. Every minute counts. <laughs> Every minute counts when you're running a business. Every minute counts. But yes, all of my time counts. From eight to five, I am not Jay, the business owner. <laughs> I'm Jay, the worker. And then when I get off at five, then um, that's when I clock in at Blinking With Me. And then I'm the worker. I mean, I'm, I'm the worker, the owner, the graphic designer, the marketing manager, all of that. So that's why I said, like, really, like, taking like your time and like not putting all of that stuff in your head and just focusing on things that really matter um i haven't even got started on what i need to start on tonight because i'm talking but it's cool because i owe y'all a video so i i still decided to show up today for y'all but um yeah, drop some questions down below on um, any business growth questions that you have. And while y'all do that, I'm about to tell y'all a story. So yesterday, I sold, I don't know if y'all watch my YouTube story or follow me on Instagram, but <clears throat> I made a post, this post, and it said, um, get a free pair of lashes, text Blink Bay to this number for a code. And basically, they had to text this number, and when they text this number, it gave them a discount code. And the discount code allowed them to get a um, free pair of lashes. So, I did this tactic. Here we go again talking about losing money. Um, I did this tactic to get people on a subscriber list so that I can have um, new people on my text, message, text messaging list for Black Friday. So, um... I have a texting app and I have uh like a hundred and ten people I think on it. I just started it um like at the end of the summer. So I have that list and I was like, I need to grow this list somehow. So um that texting app I have is SMS Bump on um the Shopify. It's a text messaging app. Let me see if I can find it, show y'all. Um, let me see if I flip the camera around. Right there. It's called SMS Bump. This is what I use for my text messaging app. Um, like when I want to send a pop-up text messages. So let me see how many people on the list. Um, oh. I lied. Okay. I got 317 people on the list. All right. So that's that text messaging list. So that list, um, um, what am I saying? Oh, I have 317 people on that list to text and be like, Hey, when something, no, I lied. It said 233. 230 people on that list. When I, when something comes out, I can text them and they'll get a text message from me. But I just want to grow up more. So then I used slick text. Um, slick text is when they could text like a keyword to a phone number. So I can be like text hottie to 41156. And they text it and then they get on my email list. So what I did was I did that and I started a whole new text list on slick text. I hope this makes sense. And so I grew, wait, I don't know if y'all can see that. Wait, I grew, oh, 41 subscribers in one day, yesterday, doing that tactic. And I gotta turn this off.
because that makes me angry. Okay. So I grew it by 41 people yesterday. So 41 people is now on my text messaging list on top of my 233 people. So at that point, I now have 270. Y'all know I don't be doing the math. 200 and um, wait, how many people did I say? 41. So 274 people now on the text list. I think about it. So now when I launch my Black Friday sale, I'm going to text 274 people. And then I also have my email list, which I am trying to grow. Let me see how many people I have on my email list. I like emails, but I like texting better because if we honest, our generation texts all the time and like the people I target is kind of like my age so I know they got their phone in their hand I'm trying to show y'all a result from a um text messaging campaign that I did give me one second and it makes money like people are they usually click on it and they um buy whatever I'm selling at the time so um Hold on. What the heck? All right, I ain't even gonna look at that right now. But my text message balance is um one hundred eighteen dollars. Like I put one hundred and eighteen dollars on there, and I don't remember doing that. Okay, hold on. All right, so this is my return on investment. So, um, okay, this is how much money I made in the last thirty days. And this is how much money I spent. So I spent $51 in 30 days. And off of text messaging marketing, I made $203. So my return on investment was like over 100%. So you can see this graph at the bottom down here. And it shows like whatever I text on. Well, this was automations. So basically... Um, when people leave my website, it texts them and it'd be like, hey, come back, shop with your girl. And so I made $78 off of doing nothing, automating my abandoned cart. Um, well, most of the time, it looks like I make all my money off <laughs> automation. Um, but yeah, you literally set that up and that happens. And then this is new subscribers. So like, it's today the 7th, yes. Um, so I made, I got five new ex subscribers, three, four. It just average on the day. Some days I get none. It just depends. Um, let me go back to a more bu busier month and show y'all. All right, while I wait for that to load, let me answer some questions. Let me see. Um, so, every, so people said they are interested in a webinar. Come here, Harold. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. So, um, uh oh. Well, let me see what y'all said. Okay. So the webinar is a go. All right. I'm gonna come up with a date and we can do that. Um, Kendra said before someone registers a business, do you suggest having a PO box or virtual office for their business address to put on the registration? Um, I. I mean, you could if you, cause the PO box can be your return um address as well for packages that may get lost or uh returned to you. So yeah, I would say get some type of address that you can have for return packages and things like that for your business. I know USPS gives you, I mean UPS gives you like a street, like wherever the ups store is located at that's the street address and then they give you a box number so when you put it in like if it if it was one two three apple lane it would be like you would put your, your business address as like blinking wink minks one two three apple lane box 187 so it looks super official and then usps just gives you a p.o box uh oh i hope that helped next question says hey girl hope you are doing fine where can we sign up for you to evaluate our site on your youtube um i'm gonna put that link in the live so y'all remember i said i was doing like a ceo takeover where you can sign up and then i can like 
review your business on my YouTube channel. I'm going to add the link to this live so y'all can sign up. It's in the community tab on my YouTube page. And um, it's a couple posts down. But I'm going to put it in here. So, enter your business for a chance for me to review it in my um, CEO Takeover live. All right. Let me see if I can get that and put it in here. Um, the next one says, which social media is best to use to gain customers for a new e-commerce store? Um, I'm an Instagram girl, so I'm going to say Instagram. I love Instagram. Um, but it may be different for you and your business, but I love Instagram. Whatever social media platform you choose to use, you just got to make sure that you're doing everything to be seen. Make sure that the, the um, photos look good. Make sure you're using intriguing words and captions. Make sure you always got a call to action. Make sure that once they leave social media and they hit your website, that your website look good. Make sure that your website pop. Make sure that when they get on there, it's easy access and that they're able to just quickly get to the item and check out. Because, like, you can have a bomb social media feed, but if your website is trash, you're not getting any sales. So, like, having a bomb Instagram feed and make sure that the website matches, that's going to get you the sales. You don't want somebody to get on your page and then... You got like, hey, this is me. Look at me. I'm the owner. Ooh, I'm cute. I'm a baddie. Blah, blah, blah. People don't want to see that as soon as they click on your page. If Fashion Nova gave us a list of all their sales for the month and who their CEO was, as soon as we click on that page, we clicking off, we leaving. But instead, they give us bomb girls and they bomb outfits and then they make sure that they got a shop button. At the top, right after your header should be a good photo of your items or a photo that represents your page. And then right there, you should have shop. Like, I shouldn't have to press the scroll button to get to shop. Shop need to be right there. Okay? And another key tip is when you're directing people to your website from, like, your social media sites, if you're linking your website, link your shop or product page like link the catalog page don't link your home page yes we love your beautiful website yes we're so happy that you have a website and we appreciate all them you know long hard weeks that you put into creating that home page but when people are ready to buy they're ready to buy so you want to make sure that you get them to the shop page as quickly as possible before they lose interest all right this this is the CEO takeover form. I'm putting it in the group now. Um, let me see what else y'all say. Uh-oh. I got to pin it. Hold on. Um, all right. It's pinned to the top now. All right. Let's see. What kind of content would be good to increase our engagement due to the new algorithm oh my god so i wanted to talk about this this should be in my live so i'll speak um so everybody keeps saying like how the instagram algorithm is changing and the instagram algorithm is in an uproar you got to create content that makes people want to share and save so informational content content that they could share with their friends content that make people say, oh my God, that's such a good idea. Oh my God, I didn't think about that. I need to, you know, oh, this is good. Let me share this with my friends. So educate, you want to share posts that's educating your customers about your product. Those type of posts are going to get the saves and the shares. And that is what's going to boost you in the new algorithm. I'm just doing boxes right now. That is what's going to... Um, boost you in the new algorithm is saves and shares that's i honestly i feel like in september i kind of felt attacked by the algorithm but i also think it's kind of more like a mind thing too like don't get me wrong instagram algorithm is trash and it always changes but also if you tell yourself like oh my god my post isn't getting seen by the algorithm you're not gonna put in effort to post like, you're going to post whatever. You're going to post the most crappiest content. Or you're going to post something that you posted two weeks ago. Or your caption going to be, you know, one word or an emoji. You're not even going to try because you already feel defeated. But if you tell yourself, like, 
this Instagram algorithm is not affecting me, you're going to continue to post your good quality content. So, I will show you an example. Like, I don't really feel like I was affected as much. I mean, in September, like, things slowed down for me. But, um... I just kept posting, like, things that's good. So, like, this post says, whoever said use hair glue for your lashes is not your friend. I don't know if you can see it. But it's, like, a tweet. And then I put my glue. And I put, like, the benefits of having my glue. So, it's a tear-free formula. It dries quick and clear. It's strong. It has a strong waterproof hold. And it's a flick applicator. And then I put, like, swipe for reviews. And then when they swipe, they see three reviews of people raving about my eyelash glue. So it, one of these says, I really enjoy the simple ordering process, also fast shipping. I'm in the cosmetic industry. This is a wonderful lash, lash adhesive. Basically right there, she proved my point. She said, one, the process was fast. She got in and out. Shipping was good. I got her ordered to her in a timely manner. And she is in the cosmetic industry. So that let other people know that you know she has some credentials about behind her name she may be like a makeup artist or you know um a beauty consultant or something like that she may work at also support or whatever it gives her credibility so she says i'm in the beauty industry and i love this lash adhesive so right then and there it's gonna click in people's head oh my god so she's you know a makeup artist and she loves this lash adhesive i'm just a regular person that wear lashes every now and then let me get this glue because she said it was good, you know? So, do that make sense? Like, you got to educate them on a product and things like that. And that's what's going to get, like, saves and stuff. So, I'm going to view the insights on this post. So, this post, this is the insights for it. I feel like when I show y'all my screen, it's so blurry. I wish I knew how to put my phone screen in the back of me. And do like the green screen thing. I haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, it got 152 saves and 24 shares. And um, yeah, that's really the main point. The main point is it's content that can be shared or saved and people are looking at it. So I posted this model she is wearing my lashes um and it's halloween season people want halloween look inspo so right now if your products can somehow correlate to halloween then you want to do that or things that's happening this month like breast cancer those type of things if your products correlate to those type of things like maybe you can do pink look if you into makeup um for breast cancer awareness or you know if you sell wigs then you can do a pink dye wig and on a breast care breast cancer awareness so for me 30 percent of my sales is um going to breast cancer this breast cancer awareness to this month so that was something that i decided to do for the month of october so if you purchase 30 percent of that order is going towards breast cancer awareness so just being up to date with the trends and that type of thing but anyway i'm assuming people like her look that she did so 28 people shared it so that let instagram know hey this content is so good that people are sharing it and saving it let's push it to more people and then as they push the content to more people and more people start to like it and save it then they say hey this content is good enough to go on the explore page so then they put it on the explore page and then they basically want to see that you are doing what you're supposed to do on instagram socially interact with people and it's not up to just people liking your stuff but it's also about things that you do like when somebody comment on your post you should try to come comment back in like 30 minutes like you should try to comment back as fast as possible i mean of course like we can't do it all the time we can't get to the people as fast but you should be trying to like comment back as fast as possible don't be being cocky don't be being steady talking about mm, i'm just gonna let the comments build up and i'm not i'm not gonna comment back no girl no you need to come back hey girl what's up hey thank you for liking my post hey thanks 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 you can say the same thing over and over and over again you can say thanks 10 million times but instagram counts that 
as a comment. It don't they don't care who the comment comes from. They just count it as a comment. So then they say, ding, ding, ding. Hey, this post is getting a lot of comments within an hour or two hours. I I don't know. Let's push it to some more people. And then they push it to more people. And then you get more comments. And that is how the algorithm works. Regardless of how it changes or what they pick to be the new hot thing, whether it's a story or a reel or a share or a comment or like... The Instagram may always switch up, but the process is always the same. You always want to get Instagram. You always want to alert Instagram that my post is popping. And once you do that, they're going to push it. So, same thing with YouTube. Same thing with content. Have you ever watched something and then, like, the next day, all of the content on your um, feed is, con like, content related to the content that you watched before? Because they're saying... They're saying, hey, you know, she really like watching girls do makeup. I'm going to push her some more girls that do makeup and see if she like that, you know. So, it's the same thing. People want, they just want to, well, not people, Instagram just want to um, know that you're doing what you're supposed to do. They want to make sure that you know. Um, they want to make sure that you're interacting with people, so yeah i'm sorry that was long and drawn out but i hope it makes sense if y'all got it or if it helped if it makes sense let me know down below um um let me see somebody said thank you for this info you helped me so much i pray god bless every dream house deep down on the inside of you oh girl hallelujah thank you girl for praying that over my life thank you i do want to just help y'all um and share the knowledge that you know god has blessed me with to share with others like this stuff comes easy to me like i can wake up and i can solve solve something like that like solve like anything business related like that it's such a gift to have and i'm truly thankful that god gave that to me and i just want to share it with y'all so um y'all can ask some more questions I'm sorry, I'm getting thirsty, but you can still ask me questions. Um, see, uh, my business is based on seasons, really. I, I get that. So, can you not post, like, every season or, like, is it mainly for one season? Or could you come out with collections and things like that? Oh, no, I comment back on even on my art page. Yeah, people be acting stuck up and think like they don't want to comment back. Oh, no, baby, you going to get this reply. <laughs> Y'all see I'm folding boxes. I'm working. Um, But, yeah, so. Ooh, that's why I said, um, okay, so you can make collections for each season. Yeah. People love collections, though, like. <laughs> I mean, think about what collections mean. Like, they mean, you know, collectible collections. Um, that type of thing. So, people love to invest in things and invest in, you know, different things and brands and things that resonate with them. That's why it's really important to know your um, target audience so that you can uh, make sure that, you know, they are, you know, buying your collections. All right, let me see. Um, how did you make your landing page that you linked on your personal Instagram? I'm trying to think what that is. Oh, oh, I made it in Wix. It's just a part of my Wix website. Um, like on Wix, you just create a new page and then you just add buttons and make sure that they line up. I mean, mine is kind of poorly done, but it's on Wix. Um... Maybe pants that I'm learning how to do emails now. Yes, girl, get into them. Them emails is something serious. Although I would say that people would take up space on your email list and not open your emails, but for the people that do open your emails, it's really beneficial. I'm so good. Oh. Um, Victoria said this. I saw your box on Pinterest. Let me find out. On a wholesaler called Well Wishes. On a wholesaler called Well Well Lashes, 
me and well lashes is gonna fight because I don't like when people steal my stuff. But thank you. I'm gonna look it up. Let me look it up so I can report it because they about to make me angry. I don't like that when people use your stuff to promote they they businesses and stuff. Um, I don't even know who no well lashes is, so I know I didn't get my box from you. Even though you can get, like, you know, boxes from anybody. Um, I mean, they just pay for boxes, but I didn't get them from them. So you tricking people, because I don't know what y'all boxes even look like. I can't find it, but if I come across of it, come across it, it's going to be me and them. Um... I looked it up, but I couldn't find anything. I think I spelled it right. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Okay. She said she's going to DM me. Okay, girl. All right, so I launched my lash business a few weeks ago. I'm fairly new. How do I gain an audience that's actually interested in my product outside of my current followers? <laughs> you have to... <coughs> Sorry, y'all. You have to get in front of, I promise I don't have Corona. Um, what am I looking for? You have to get in front of an audience that wants to wear your product. So you have to make sure that the hashtag, hold on, I'm so mad. The hashtag that you use and the, oh, here we go, okay. The hashtags that you use and the, um, caption and the words that you're saying um is appealing to people and appealing to uh sorry let me focus real quick let me put my dress back on appealing to people and you know catching the eye so um if i start doing instagram audits um the gang will kill me and literally everybody on live will want an instagram audit so, I will say I will look at your Instagram, but I know the gang on here is going to kill me. And they're going to be like, you doing Instagram audits? Hmm. Also, um, working with uh, influencers and brand ambassadors to push your brand out also will help it grow. All right, let me see. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, people, and look at y'all coming together as a community. I love to see it. So yeah, so they say you gotta promote. Um, Brittany said, "How do you work with ambassadors and how to pay them?" So you wanna? Let me show the German. It smells kind of funny. Okay, let me show the smell. Okay, cause. You know, some, this new Germex that they coming out with be smelling real funny. But um, you have to, what's the question? How to work with promoters. You have to um, work with people that resonate with your brand. Don't work with people just because you like them. I like people too. You know, I like a lot of people. I like, I like the city girls, but I ain't going to ask them to promote my products. Yeah. I like a couple fitness people, but I ain't going to ask them to promote my lashes. They got to make sure that the people you ask them to promote is people that resonate with your brand. Because their followers are going to have to like the product as well to follow you. Or else you wasted money. Um, as far as paying them, you can come up with a set rate. Or you can use a commission-based pay. Um, I use a commission-based pay. I have not paid influencers yet to promote my brand um the bigger you grow the more people will ask you honestly um but let me show you the app i use so the app i use on shopify is called go app pro and i have a video about this as well let me see let me see if it flipped okay this one go app pro it right here um allows you i'm gonna let y'all screenshot that real quick on shopify it allows you to um 
what? Pay your brand ambassadors money. And that's just insta fee. And that's a rewards program. They also can do something like that. That's my email marketing. And then that's a pop-up. So, um, yeah, that's some of my apps. So, yeah, you can use like apps like that to pay them off a of commission. And what it is is that when they get a sale with their code, I pay them um, through PayPal. And I pay twice a month. Um, just like the military, the first and the fifteen. All right, let's see. Um, hashtags pay for promotion from owners of other business similar to yours and pay for it on your Instagram ads. Uh, pay for promotion from owners of other business similar to yours. I like. Okay, let me tell you how I feel about small business promo on Instagram. So, I love the idea of um instagram i mean small business promo on instagram using your business page to promote other small businesses i love the idea i think it's a i think it's a step up i think it's a way for business owners to say hey we're not all crabs in the buckets everybody can win i love that about it let me just make my disclaimer really quick i love the support about it i love that people are starting to I'm sorry, I'm looking for Cheryl. I love that people are starting to support other people. I love all of that about it. I I promise I do. Um, what I don't like about it is it causes brand confusion. People get confused. They're like, you were just posting lashes yesterday and you're posting these lashes today and then you want me to go follow this brand and then I go follow this brand. But is this brand associated with your brand? You know, like, is this brand tied to your brand? Do do y'all work together? People get confused. Although us as small business owners, we get it. Um, the customers, it can be confusing. Now, if I wanted to house a small business promo on my page on my youtube page and promote it that's fine i would totally do that i know i'm supposed to get a peel box so y'all can send it to um we talked about that a couple months ago but um i would totally do that but as far as like using my lash page to promote other people's businesses and then coming back the next day and then like buy my lashes it's just confusing it, it really is. That's how I feel about it. Y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it. But it just caused brand confusion. It's like McDonald's throwing up a billboard and saying, go get Burger King two for five Whoppers. And then the next day they saying, go get Dairy Queen fish sandwich. And then, you know, the next day they, you know, telling you to go get fries from Wendy's. Like, Y'all sell all that and like, do I need to come here or do I need to go there? You know, like I'm going to eat both, but um, where do I need to go to get it? You know, like it just, it just gets confusing, but that's just my opinion. But I do love that, you know, people are, you know, realizing that just because people sell the same products as you, um, it's not that they're your competitors, you know? I do love that about it. I love that so much. Money get made every day. Like, <laughs> it's money for everybody. But that's just my thoughts on it. Um, I think that's an unpopular opinion. I haven't shared that opinion with nobody. Just when I see it, I'm like, you're confusing the heck out of your audience. Now, if you want to go do it on your personal page, that type of thing, or... or you know, every now and then you like, hey, go follow this brand that I love so much. That's cool. But when people are just doing it for other ways to like, you know, as a side income to make more money, it just messes up the flow. You know, I don't want to see your business and then 30 other people business every week for you to make $5 off of each person. I don't want to see that. You clogging up your feed with content that ain't yours. And while it only may be 24 hours, you don't know how many people can come to your feed in those 24 hours and then get so confused because you told me in your bio that you sell skincare, but then I go on your feed and you got lashes in a purple box and lashes in a pink box and lip gloss and everything else on your feed. You confusing the new people. 
And then one thing about posts, you know, don't make your post for the people that's like already on your feed. Make your post as if it was new, as if someone new was seeing it because like you don't know who's going to see you. That's like, y'all know I always got analogies, but that's like going to work every day. And then you like, oh, I don't have to dress up for work. I'm fine. I can, you know, go to work any kind of way. And then, boom, next thing you know, the darn president of the company coming that day. And you ain't know nothing about it. So, you looking how you look every day when you just should have already been ready. So, you never got to get ready. You know, that type of thing. Like, I hope that analogy makes sense. But it's like, you want to make sure that your post and your feed is always up to par for new people that's coming. All right, I ran over. Let me see what else y'all said. Um, oh, y'all, I'm out of breath. Um, uh, shouldn't I be able to make a cute email flyer on Canva? Yes, girl. I don't know if you're using Shopify. I know before you said you was on the fence, but what I do is I make. Let me go in Canva and um show you. I make um, headers in Canva, and then I plug them into my, uh, what is it called? My email. God dang it, I almost broke my nail. Okay, let me show you. So this is called an email header template, and then I make it. So this was my one for um, breast cancer awareness. So I made three headers and then i plugged it into my email and then let me see if i can show you the email that was sent um and while i do that i'm about to answer another question shoot that hurt okay is there an app for wigs an app for wigs what was the question let me go back up Oh, I don't know. Oh, for the brand ambassadors. I don't know if it is one because um, I don't really use wigs for like products. So I'm not sure. But you can just type in like brand ambassador app and it'll come up. It should come up in wigs. So hold on. I'm trying to show y'all the email. All right, preview. Ah, oh, man, that was not the email. Okay, hold on. Uh, view. Okay. Is it gonna show it to me? It's loading, y'all. Okay. Can I view it in big screen? No, I can't. Um, I wish it, anyway, it looked like this. So, I basically took those headers and I put them all together. Oh, here it go. It's going to show it to me. All right, here it go. So I took those headers and then I put it into an email. So that is from this. And it's just called an email header. I hope that helps. Okay, next question. Let me see what y'all said. Um, how does fraud find a work? Um, basically, like, if, let's say somebody purchased from you before and then they filed a dispute, you can, um, you can put their IP address, their name, their address, all of that in there on Fraud Finder, and basically it blocks them from ever ordering for you again. Ever ordering from you again. And yes, I don't. I don't play with chargebacks. I will block you from ever ordering from me again. You're going to have to literally do so much to buy from me again. Like, you're going to have to go to your mama house, use her phone, use her debit card, and her address to check out. Because, like, everything from you will be blocked. So, that's what Fry Finder is. Um, how do you set up the different shipping methods and rate on your Shopify website? Um, I have two videos on this, on shipping, on Shopify. Basically, what you need to do is you need to come up with a set rate. 
and then that's what your shipping is gonna be your shipping rate determines on your product and your shipping price so the weight of the product all of that factors in, into your shipping lashes are light i sell them in these boxes they're so light they're like paper thin they don't cost me as much to ship so my shipping can be cheaper but then if somebody that sells crystals those are a little heavier um and then it depends on how big your item is so if you're selling art pieces those are a little bigger coasters are heavier hair is lighter but then you may it may weigh more because it's in a pack so the best way to set a shipping rate is to go to the post office with the package as like you intended to ship it and ask them for a shipping rate and then they will give you a estimated shipping rate and then you can say okay i want to charge a little bit more than that to cover all packages or i want to charge less you also can set the shipping up by the weight but i'm not doing all that like i'm gonna just have a set shipping price so it really just depends on that now how you do it is um you just go to settings hold on let me let me turn the camera around all right wait let me fix my box but even when I had harder boxes, it still didn't take a lot to stay. All right, so everybody that want to know Shopify shipping, get ready. We're about to do it. So you go to settings because so many people ask me this like every day on my shipping videos. Shipping and delivery. Go into shipping and delivery. And then you want to go to manage rates. Once you go into manage rates, it just depends on how you want to ship, what you want to use, who you want to use. So these are all my products. So you add all your products. And then right here, my rates. So I have free shipping and standard shipping. So let's say like you add a rate and then let's say you can use the carrier. So if you wanted to ship with USPS and you wanted them to set the rates, you can. But um. I'm going to just say set, set my own rate and then my rate name. So let's say you wanted this to be standard shipping. So you put standard shipping and then you put the price. So if it's if your standard shipping is $5, you say standard shipping $5 and you press done. And so now it shows standard shipping $5. And then let's say you wanted to have free shipping. So you say free shipping over 50. So free shipping and then the price it costs zero because it's free and then you add conditions and the conditions will be based on price and the price the minimum purchase amount is fifty dollars because they have to spend at least fifty dollars to get the free shipping and there's no limit on the max price as long as they meet that 50 threshold they then get free shipping for fifty dollars and um, I'm going to delete these because I, um, I need my shipping to be the rate. So then here's how it looks. So anything under, so free shipping is $35. Anything under $35 is considered standard shipping. So if I edit rate based on price will be zero to $34.99 because when you hit $35, you are now paying free shipping. And then carrier apps and rates. So I use USPS and I use it for priority mail and priority mail express. So if anybody wanna use, so if anybody want their stuff shipped to them with priority mail, I just use the USPS rate. And I think it's like $7.80, I think. Um, what I do is I go in, I go to USPS, discounted rate for Shopify shipping. I check what I wanna use. If you wanna use all of, um usps rates and you'll put like first class package as well so then you got first class package priority mail and priority mail express but i set my own first class package rate so i only use them for priority mail and priority mail express and then um i just press done and now that's what it looks like um international i use usps and dhl so i made sure that this shipment is usa international i use that 
and then I save it. And boom. That's Shopify shipping. And y'all telling me that y'all don't want to pay $5 for a course. And I'm giving y'all all of this stuff for free. So just imagine with the course with the course guy in it, okay? Just imagine. But um, let me see what else y'all said. <sighs> Um, would you suggest YouTube promo then? You could use YouTube promo. You can, um, you can, uh, work with, uh, micro influencers to promote your product. You could use them. They, YouTube, people that do YouTube usually have their business email in their, um, description box. So YouTube could work. Um... All right, it do. I'm putting my notes. Okay, can you show how to add IG shopping? So, um, the IG shopping it's a little more complex because of the fact that like Instagram prompts you to set that up. I hope that makes sense. Like they'll say, um, set up shopping on Instagram or something like that, and then like you press it and then it walk you through all the steps. But as far as like um me showing you i i i don't know i don't even remember how i got it like they sent an email and then i said yes and then i um they like walked me through it but i know you have to have a facebook and you have to have a catalog you have to have facebook and you have to make sure that the facebook is connected to your shopify store by adding the app but after that point they lost me I couldn't even tell you. I would have to literally like search it and look it up. So that would probably have to be a dedicated video. But also now with them doing Instagram checkout, um, I don't want to like prompt people to get it and then it like mess up their feed and stuff like that. But yeah, I would say search your um, business Instagram, your business Instagram email account. And I'm sure Instagram is in there promoting like shop, shop, or like get shop, get Instagram shop, that type of thing. And you might can also find it in your settings. Like I know it's in my settings because I have it, but I don't remember how to get it um, off the top of my head. But I'm sure Instagram is promoting in your email. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, do you have a thermal printer? I brought a roller around and it saves times and it looks so professional. Yes, I do. I have a um, thermal printer. I'm trying to think about what it's called. It's not the roller one. It's called something else. But yes, I do have one and I love it. It's a little slow, but I do like it. <laughs> you welcome. You welcome. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, what is your preferred way of advertising? Brand ambassadors and Instagram um, ads. I do. I put it on my boxes. Instagram and um, Facebook ads and brand ambassadors. That is my way to promote. I'm an Instagram queen. I love Instagram. I hope I'm answering y'all questions. Like, I'm hoping I'm giving y'all good answers. Um, any more questions for me? Um, I just look in hashtags, like, if I want to work with, like, people that do make, I, I primarily work with people that do makeup because I know that their stuff is, their content is going to be good, and I know that people that follow them like makeup, so they're going to also, like, like my lashes as well. So, I just really, like, look in hashtags for people that do good makeup, and then I reach out to them. Um, does the course have an advertising section? So, the course that I was talking about, it's like a $5 um, webinar that I was going to do to prepare for Black Friday, but I do not have an advertising course. But a good advertising course um, is from Unter Believers. Um, they are a t-shirt brand, but they have a good $25 ad course. That's really, really good that I like, and I feel like it really did break ads down for me. Um, I didn't put ads in a course yet because I'm still learning them and I like to give y'all information once I figure it out. So I'm still working on it, but once I get it down packed, I will um I will do a video on it.
Um, let me see. What else? You're welcome. Yep, you got all the answers when I get stuff. Basically, I'm be hitting you up. Yes, girl. Come and see me. How much do you charge to review stores? Um, I don't have a price. Like, I'm supposed to be doing small business promo. But I haven't opened a P.O. box yet. But, um, yeah. I'm supposed to do small business promo. But I don't have a price. Um, I don't charge for that. I don't really do, like, reviews and sponsorships, that type of thing. Like, but I, um... I do want to do a small promo video, so y'all stay tuned for that because I do want to do that, and I do want to see our products. And that's another thing with the CEO takeover that I pinned at the top. Um, that's where you can apply for me to, like, review your brand and do, like, a YouTube channel and things like that. Oh, no, hold on. She didn't mean that. No, I mean, do you review online source to make sure the setup is correct? Oh, yes. So, um, you can book a coaching call with me. It's eighty dollars. It's called a strategy call, um, and we go over whatever you want to go over. So basically, how my strategy calls work is that I um, allow up to ten questions. You pick the questions. You send them to me so that I can prep before the call, and then we get on the call and we go through every single question until you tell me that yes, I got it. I like that answer. That's the right answer. And then we move on to the next question. So it's an hour long. And yeah, you you tell me what you want to talk about on the call. So it's a brand strategy call, but it's also a pick your brain call. Like basically where you just tell me what you want to talk about. And I find that method to be easier because um, people, they like that they control the call. Like you control the call. I'm just here for guidance. I'm here. I, I work for you when you book the call like you pay me but I work for you so yeah if you want to book a call I have a link in like my all my description box but it's the business guru dot co and I'm changing my name y'all I'm changing my coaching service name and it's called pal her to profit I can't wait once I get through this pop-up shop set up that type of thing I'm going to, like, release it and all of that. But, yes, I'm so excited. But, yeah, that's how my calls work. And everybody that takes my calls, they give me good feedback. They're like, oh, my gosh, I love this call. It was everything that I needed. Yes, they usually love the call. And I um, record it, and it's Zoom, and then um, you're able to get the call. Like, I send you the audio for the call. And anything that I mention in the call, like any links or any apps or any books or Anything like that, I send it to you in an email after we get off the call so that you can have those resources. So, yeah. So, like, for example, if y'all drop a question, I'll I'll answer one question. How I answer it on my call. But, yeah. I can't do Instagram audits because I'm telling you I would be here till, like, 12 o'clock doing Instagram audits with y'all because I will feel bad and I will feel like everybody needs an Instagram audit. Okay, how I'm going to send you products if you ain't got no P.O. box. I know, I know, sweet. I'm going to get one. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm going to get one. I can't believe I finished all my boxes. Okay, now what I'm about to do is label. Y'all want to stay on live or y'all want to get off live? I'm talking too much because I'm going to be right here working. But I still, I still can chat. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay. I need a print label, so that's what I'm looking at. Okay. Let me see if y'all got questions. Um, how long before your first sale? Um, so it's really going to depend on what you did, what efforts you put in before you actually launch. So, like, basically, before you launch, you got to get people ready. You got to get people excited. You got to get people intrigued. You got to get people talking about it. So, how are you going to do that? Oh, this is the wrong size. Um, How are you going to do that? You got to get people to your page. So, like, you know, when Jordan's released, we don't see Jordan's for the first time the day that they release. So, if Jordan's come out Saturday, 
we don't see them for the first time on Saturday. We literally see them so far in advance to where we're planning to get them. We're like, oh my God, I need to have those Jordans. Like, when are they coming out? That type of thing. Same thing with other things that you like. Like, if I don't know if y'all are into like fitness wear or clothes, that type of thing. But like, when a fitness company is releasing like a new line and I want that line, they don't show it to me the day of release. They're showing it to me three, four weeks before. And I'm just like, I need that in my life. So then I'm saving the date because I'm trying to get it. You know, I'm signing up on the text messages, text messaging list. I'm signing up on the email list because I need to be notified when it come out. Same thing for your business. So if you prep people before, you can get your first sale on your first day if you prep them before. Um, one mistake I feel like that I made is that I didn't make my Instagram soon, sooner or earlier before I launched. I think I made it like a month before I launched or whatever. And then I was trying to like get all these people in. But really, I should have made it like three months before I launched. And you can show people behind the scenes. You can show people the sneak peek of the products. You can show people the boxes. You can show people all kind of stuff. Um, you can start like, okay. If I was someone that was just starting and I was selling hair, I'll be like, five tips to take care of your curly hair. Even if you don't have the curly bundles in yet, you're prepping these people and they know that you're knowledgeable about your products and now they're trying to get to your page. They're trying to, you know, like, comment. They're like, oh, you know, she's giving hair care tips. You may not have release the bundles yet or shown the bundles yet but people are gravitating towards your page now because they know that you are knowledgeable about what you're selling so even if you don't have products on hand yet you can still be selling knowledgeable information about your items um things like that like you sell clothes you can do like <coughs> five ways to style you know a flannel for the fall people that like fashion are going to like that post see that post follow you and now they follow your page so it's all about like getting people in the mood before they actually shop just building up that intent into anticipation and you know when you release they they already know your brand they already trust you because you've been talking about this brand for months prior and they know that it's here now and now they're finally ready to try the products because you built them to that point you built the trust level with them because you've been sharing those knowledge, knowledgeable tips with them. They know you're good. They know you know what you're talking about. They know that you're giving quality products because, of course, you're knowledgeable in it. You showed them that already. So then they purchase. I hope that helped. Let me see what else. Uh, um... We here, baby. This is how the live go. Okay, girl. You had to tell them how we stayed on live for three hours one time. <laughs> Can you say I'm chilling? I like your vibe. I love watching another YouTube video for this. Oh, girl. Thank you for coming over and joining the gang. Um, that gave anticipation on the products. Yes. How do you stay relevant and keep people from getting bored with you? Research, research, research. Keeping up with the trends and making the trends your own. Making the trends follow your brand. So, like... Something that's super popular right now that people that people are saying is, it's the blank for me. Like, you know, so whatever you're selling. <coughs> so if you're selling curly hair or whatever, then it's like, it's the curly hair for me, you know, or it's the texture for me. It's the color for me. Like, that's something popular that people are saying right now. So you jump on and you say it, you know? Like, make it up, but make it about your brand. That's how you stay relevant. You keep the trends, you keep the trends moving. You you go where the trends go. Now, don't get super crazy and be like switching up your, um, switching up your formula and things like that. But you just move with where the things move. Like, for instance, that, uh, period challenge was going around people was like putting their butt and it's spelling period or people is putting their ring girl i put my glue up there i was like period like let me show you let me show you y'all know i've been talking about i'd be needing to show y'all so this so it says period so people is putting their hand right there but baby i'm putting the glue the glue is the eye okay you need to buy this glue period 
And so it got 140 likes and 32 saves and six shares and 50 profile visits, seven website clicks. People was on it. So like that, like you just want to stay relevant, stay, stay up. You know, if you ain't hip, hang around some people that's hip. <laughs> um, Ooh, one live or video you should do a Zoom call with business owners or up and coming business owner just conversation. Girl, yes, I wish, I wish my Instagram page was popping so that um, y'all can come follow me on Instagram and then we can like do the little live thing where we um, connect together on the live and then we like talk and have a conversation. I want to do, I want to do um, a Zoom party with y'all. Like we just all get on Zoom and we just talk. Y'all want to have a Zoom party at the end of the year? I'm going to be in the house for New Year's. So if y'all want to have a Zoom party around New Year's, let me know. <laughs> we going to get on there and talking about how we going to run this money up in 2021. Okay? With the shots and the drinks. If y'all drink. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm low tolerance with drinking. I tell y'all, I drink and I two shots and I'm out. But yeah, we can do that. We can... We can get that popping. Y'all just remind me. Um, oh, I wish I could like this post and let me follow you. Girl, yes. Girl. Follow me. My Instagram name is told by J. Told by J. Yes, Kendra said she would love that. Oh, y'all, it's going to be invite only. We're going to be so lit. I can't wait. But, yes, I would love to have somebody else come and talk on my darn videos because I'm sick of talking. I'm the only one talking. But, yes, I would love for y'all to come. This is just not giving me my normal label vibes. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm not making it small enough. So, y'all, I'm making my labels with my label maker. I'm printing them out for my lashes. But it's just not working. I don't know what's going on. And, y'all, I got a pop-up shop this weekend. And I'm stress beyond measure hero must be with side of me because he done left me he over me <sighs> yes girl follow me i'm be enough to drink next year okay 21 yes so everyone that's on the live have y'all started a, are y'all starting a business or are y'all already in business i keep peeling this stuff off um yes girl i'm ready too let's go did you ever do an office tour i need inspiration girl i um it's like a little corner of my room that's my office right now and i was like i need to show y'all but also it's just a corner so i i need to restructure i need to move I need to move out. I need to just move the whole apartment. I need a house, okay? And then when I actually get like an office, I'm going to do a tour. But also, if I just feel the need to, I'm going to give y'all a small space office tour um, after Black Friday once I get situated. situated. But if you watch my um, Amazon must-haves business videos, I share a lot of things that I got from for my business in that video. Shoot, I'm trying to see. Um, let me see. So people said starting a business. I'm starting a new business, no sale yet. About to start my products are marinating literally. Ooh, so excited. I'm I'm so excited for y'all. I run my desk and everything gets in my room as well. Yes. So I love my desk and I feel like just get a lot of storage. I don't know what you're selling, but storage is so important when you have a business. You want to try to be as organized as possible. I say that and I'm looking at this hot mess in front of me. But you want to be like as organized as possible, okay? Super organized. And that way, um, I don't know if y'all watch my vlogs, but like... When you're organized, you can get orders out so much faster. Like, right now, I have 16 orders to package by in the morning. And 
haven't even started. I need to label some lashes first before I start. So, but if the lashes was already labeled, I'll be able to like grab, 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 put in bags and go. But I just got this new set of inventory in. So I need to label first. If I had more time, I would, um, I would have been had this done. Um, I love an organized space, but my tail gonna mess it up. Yes, that's me. I clean up my space all the time, and I just mess it right back up. All the time. Right now, I'm just printing out names. Like It don't have to be a certain name, but I'm just printing them out so that when I do get ready to package my orders, I can already have the names ready to label. Whew. I need some workers because... um. I need somebody that can do this while I do something else. Like, I can't wait to hire employees. I'm, like, looking for an assistant. And I posted today that I'm looking for an uh, intern for people that need, like, um, um, college credits and stuff. Like, I can sign off on it. So, yeah, that's what I need. Because trying to be everything in your business, it gets so annoying so fast like i love the idea of being able to do everything in my business of course you want to know how to do everything in your business because they'll push come to shove and later on it's like you need to hire i mean you need to hire people like it's not gonna be a problem for me because i'm gonna be like girl i know how to run this whole show so you know it's not gonna be like oh my god i need you you know here i need a warm body so that I don't have to do it because I'm gonna be able to do everything. But um yeah, it gets so old so fast. If I just have one person, one extra hand, it would just make my life so much easier. So like the position that I'm looking for is like remote. Um so I wanted to do an assistant, but I also wanted to do an assistant where I live at. So I feel like an internship is more beneficial because like I can teach you things and it's not paid but you also get the credits that you need for your college classes and if you're in the industry or that type of thing like it just all works out so if y'all know somebody or know somebody that want an internship or if you want an internship you don't have to be in college but um it's not a paid internship so that may make people be like you know i'm not doing that work for free but it's not like free work you know knowledge is power once you learn something, nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can take that, you know, like from you. So, yeah. But I definitely understand. Either way. Um, let me go back up. So, can you say I had a clothing brand when I was in high school that I stopped and now I'm 20 and I want to start my brand up again and do cosmetics as well. Yes. I had a clothing brand too when I, my freshman year of college, um, I had a clothing brand. And I, I like the idea of the clothing brand, but I didn't like the clothes. Like I didn't like the process of the clothes. And then I would have people that, that wanted to ask, could they like try the clothes on and stuff like that? It was just too complicated. Like you had to know people's sizes and all of that type of stuff. So clothes is definitely not my thing. Um, but I did like the business side of it, which then made me go into business with the lashes. Cause it's like, okay, I like lashes too. So yeah but i wish you the best <laughs> i'm glad you're trying this entrepreneur thing out again um i'm gonna do entrepreneur vlogs when i get my when my camera comes back from the repair shop yes yes you should definitely do youtube like youtube is amazing like you're able to build a community of people that like think like you people that you know want to grow with you and be a community and honestly it's just so amazing <laughs> I want to do YouTube, but I'm scared. Even though I have 2K followers, I talk on another app. I'm so weird. Girl, get on YouTube. And now YouTube is super popular. Like, people, if you say you got a YouTube, people are automatically like, oh, my God, really? Like, what is it? Like, I want to follow you. Back when I started YouTube in 2015, it was like YouTube was a secret. Like, you didn't tell people that you had a YouTube. You try to actually, like, avoid the conversation. <laughs> so... Now it's a thing. Now people are so accepting, acceptive of it. 
And like, yeah. So definitely get on YouTube. You will be surprised on what could happen on YouTube. Is he bothering y'all? I need a better system, but see, that's again, that's what we talked about at the beginning of the video. Things that really matter and things that matter, but they don't matter right now. Like I need a better labeling system because I can't hire somebody and say, I want you to print labels from this machine all day. So I need a better system, but that's not something I need to focus on today. But it's in my head, but I don't need to focus on it today. Like what I need to focus on today is actually label on them. I need like labels on a sheet, but the ones on like Avery and stuff, they're too long for my lashes and it makes it annoying. And these cut perfect every single time. So I don't know how to fix that. If y'all know some good labeling sites, drop them down below for us struggling people. Um, I'm trying to think of like all my lash names. I have 22 lash styles and I'm thinking of discontinuing some because <sighs> there's so many. Yeah, I use Avery, but they labels are okay. They're just too long. I need something short. All right, let me go back up to what y'all said. Is it necessary to have a policy page when we first start? Yes, girl, you better have a policy page because if not, people will try you. They will be like, you will say no refunds and then they'll be like but you didn't have no refunds on your page i heard a sticker sticker meal um but i haven't tried them yet i did try sticker out but i haven't tried sticker meal um but yeah like they will try you make yes you need a policy page um shopify actually can create a policy page for you and they um you just you just like enter your business name. It's pretty cool. It's in the settings. You type in settings and then policies and then it'll pop up and it's a template. But yeah, you want to have a page that talks about your refunds, your returns, your processing time, shipping, and also give some type of description about like cookies and credit card information and all of that. But it don't have to be this long drawn out thing. Like it can, it can be simple. Um, let's see. Um, I don't know, no labeling cookies, so I'm still looking for a good one by myself, especially for the labels I want. Yes, I'm looking for a good label company too. Um, people on Etsy are, are good. They just overcharge too much. So, I need to find one that don't overcharge. I'm looking to, girl. I'm looking to. When I find one, I will let y'all know. I need to watch some videos on that. I'm sure it's somebody out here giving us that information. Let me see. Yes. Canva makes stickers. So, I said this in my last video, but I didn't know if Canva print quality was good. And y'all, Canva print quality is amazing. Um, hold on. Let me see. Ooh. Canva sells stickers. I'm about to get my stickers on Canva. Let me find out. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, let me show y'all. So, oh my God. I got these made on Canva. Well, I made them on Canva. And um, I made them and printed them on Canva. I keep slapping myself, but this is what they look like. Yeah. They came out bomb.com. So if you was ever wondering about Canva print, Girl, Canva print is bomb. Yes, girl. And I, ooh. <laughs> like, I just searched Canva print sticker labels and it popped up. I, girl, let me find out. I typed in Canva stickers and it popped up. Oh, yes, you was right. Sticker mule. So let me show y'all. Google is your best friend. All right. So I use this app, sticker app. And it was good, like, for these type of stickers. It was really good. And then we got Sticker Mule that I also heard was good. And then I also use Uprinting, too, for um, my postcards. They do really good. They ship in, like, three days. But I just typed in Canva Sticker 
and then this popped up and then it said custom stickers get started and that's all i needed to know because it's on it's on now oh lord look at all these designs yes 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 i don't even know how it worked let me see let me see it's us only i'm getting so excited y'all i just can't take it i'm so excited oh lord okay i'm gonna pick one um um this one sounds this isn't I'm going to just use this template. I don't want to overcomplicate it. Okay, so this is what I would do. I would go on the side, and I would look, and I would be like, dang, what kind of, you know, what resonates with my brand the most? And like, okay, like this is my colors, so I like that. And then it says, yes, yes, queen, yes. Um, And then what I would do, let me see if I got my logo on here. I would... um get my logo there we go that's i don't like that let's put a black one so i got a white one too but i don't feel like finding it so that's in black and then i would change that text to like that and then um i might put that down there like that oh my god i just made a sticker and then i can take this lash box if i wanted to and i could put it like right there so I don't want to but I'm just saying if I wanted to I could I don't want to I think that's cool enough I like that like that um I also could add different things like if I wanted to take my model and I wanted to like um I think I could make her the background maybe yeah oh did y'all see that hold on you gotta hold it and then it do it and then you yes it's play script girl playlist script that's my favorite font girl i love this font on canva and so then i can take this and i can make it smaller and I can do, i'm about to create a whole sticker for y'all and then i could do like that and then like this and then i could change my brand color to white and then I'm going to delete that because I want to make, um, I want it to be gold now since we got it, since we lightened it. Oh, man. I need that up here. And then I'm going to need this down here. And then this right here. And then, yeah. And then like that or something like that. And then I need her head. And we really just focus on the lashes. So I'm zooming in some more. And boom, just like that, I got a sticker. And then we're going to go to print my sticker. I'm not going to print this for real, but if I wanted this, it's mine. And then, hold on. Oh, God, that's why it's coming in my house. All right. <laughs> then I can pick my size. So if I want a four inch sticker, I just pick four inches. I want a gloss finish, of course. And we want 48 copies. That's $74. You can literally go up to 2000 Ooh, way beyond my price range. If it was me, I would probably do like 150 and I'm probably gonna make it two. And then that's $132, which is kind of pricey. But I mean, you get so many stickers. So it just depends. Maybe... I, you just set a budget. I say I, I'm only going to pay $50 for stickers. Then I would print. I would do 48. Press continue. Um, Then the shipping. So you get free shipping. Oh, Canva. Lord, you just won my heart. Free shipping is everything. Free shipping. You can do express, which is two days, or standard three to five days. I'm going to roll with the free shipping because I'm cheap. Y'all see my phone number. Don't call me. I probably won't answer. I don't even answer my um, family calls. <laughs> so don't call me. Um, and then y'all see my address. Don't go to my house. You won't be able to find me. Um, <laughs> and this is a huge um, complex. And then also it's my credit card number, but don't swipe it because it probably won't get nowhere far. Um, but anyway, and then you just place the order. But yeah. Yes. So that's how you create a sticker. Now let me see the comments. All right, let me see what y'all said. 
Oh, I told you already. Yeah, playlist group. All right, that's fire. Yes, it's so cute. I love that. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to paste the item like your lash box stickers to create other pics. I don't know if you understand. Yes, it's called a transparent photo. Um, so if you got Canva Pro, you it already comes with a transparent photo thing. And if you don't have Canva Pro, you can just type in like transparent photo app on a website and then it, it'll do it for you for free. I'm scared that this stuff is going to fly. Um, but yeah, that's that's cool. I would go do super deep into this and show you how to make. You know what? I'm about to show y'all. I don't know what business y'all have, but I'm about to show y'all something cool. Um... I'm going to show you how to make a label. Hold on. I'm about to make a whole brand for y'all. Y'all, what, what is our brand going to be called? Drop me a brand name down below. It could be any name. It could be something you just made up. I'm about to make a whole label sticker for y'all. Because I feel like that sticker was good, but this sticker can be better. I don't know where them stars is. Can I delete them? Yeah. All right, so you just delete everything to get a white page. Drop me a brand name. What's our brand name about to be called? Waterway Clothing Booty. Got it. What's the colors? Black lid. Got it. What's the colors? Y'all let me know the colors so I can make my logo. Oh, this is such a fun project. Okay, let me know the colors. And then let me know what we sell. Somebody else let me know what we sell. And then somebody else... Let me know who we targeting. Oh, we finna have a whole class. Okay. All right, we going with water wave coloring. Our colors are gonna be blue. I see blue, white, yellow, blue, light, blue, orange. So we are gonna go with blue, background white, yellow, and orange. All right, who we targeting and what we sell. We done got us a whole brand over here. All right, so these are some things that... um. Canva already has like different fonts. So I need to find a font that represents like water. Oh, I ain't even got to go far because these two right here says water to me. All right, we targeted 18 to 25. All right, I'm going to go with this one. Uh-uh. Oh, it ain't free. Is this one free? The one I like wasn't free. Is it not free? No, it's not free. All right, so that you got to pay for. I don't have Canva Prime. I meant Canva Prime, Lord. Canva Pro. All right, I'm going a, I'm to a roll with this one. And then I'm going to say, what is it called? Water Wave. So I'm going to say Water Wave. All right, this our logo, but I want it straight. And I want it small. Don't that look like a Water Wave to y'all? Oh, my God, so cute. And then um, I need to pick a cursive font. So I'm going to just add this. Y'all do know that I, well, I retired like in September, but I know how to design websites and stuff like that. Graphic designs, I do all of my graphics. So don't think that like, you know, you got to be jumping out the bag with this type of stuff, knowing how to do this type of stuff. Um, but I will say that I am self-taught and I just learned this by practicing so much. Or I see stuff on Instagram and I try to recreate it. That's how I get, um, that's how I learn. All right, so then this is kind of like my logo in a sense. Um, it's just my pretend logo, but I need it in cursive, so. Oh, I don't like that. All right, I'm spending too much time on this logo, so let me just find a font and then we're going to roll with it. Um... I'm not sure if I like that, but I swear I'm not about to be picky. This is not even this deep, so I just need to, I just need to roll with punches. <sighs> All right, I'm getting frustrated because <laughs> I can't find a font that I like. But um, let me put it in the playlist, playlist script font. All right, that's fine. I'm going to just lowercase it. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, hold on, y'all. All right, boom. Something like that. Something. All right, we're not going to take this to heart because I'm about to get um, upset. Um, hold on. Let me try one more thing. I'm sorry. I, I know y'all sick of me. 
Oh crap. I forgot how to spell boutique. Just that for us. Is that right? Um Okay. No, that is not right. I'm missing a letter U. Okay, I think that's right. All right. Anyway, this is our logo. <laughs> we got to move on. All right, so here we are at the bottom. Um, we sell vintage clothing. We sell designer bags, sunglasses, purses, sweater, jumpsuit sets. Oh, we popping. All right, so we know that we target people that's... Um, what we target? People that's 18 to 25. We need some water. Can we get some water? Can this water come? And then I'm going to um, do another square. All right. So we got water as our background on our sticker. We're going to make this white. We're going to bring it up. I don't really like the color of that water, but I guess I ain't got no choice. Um, all right, I kind of like that better because it's still giving us water vibes. Sorry, y'all. All right, so now what we need to do is, um, I'm, I'm thinking, um, like Polaroid vibes. What y'all thinking? Um, I'm trying to find some. Okay, here we go. Like something like this. I like something like that. Like pool, summer. Hold on, y'all. Trust the vision. Trust the vision. Now. Trust the vision. Might get it right. All right. I don't really like those lines. And I feel like it could be wider. Do we like that? We like that. Y'all like that? With my people. We going through a whole course. Let me see what y'all saying. Okay, that's what I did. What is it? What if you actually made a brand with a group of subbies and it become booming? That'd be lit, ain't it? We gotta make us some money. So if somebody said eighteen to forty three is better. I feel grown women be having money and trying to look trendy and boss bossed up. True. Um, you don't want to make the range too broad. You want to make it like a ten. To like, um, really like a 10, I say like a 10 year range. Because if you make it too broad, then you targeting two totally different audience. Um, and then let's say we sell swimsuits. This is like a summer brand, but I'm about to find us some people. All right. So like, what swimsuit would you rather buy? Did, okay, this is the same swimsuit, basically. Would you rather buy this or this? I would rather buy this because she has the outfit on. I see it on her. My body might not look like hers, but I see it on her. And I know what it looks like. This, this not giving me body. This is giving me basic. This is giving me AliExpress vibes. This is giving me body. See, the price... The price difference is coming from the body. Like, they can't sell that for $27 because we don't even know what that look like on. But ASOS can sell that for $27 because they got us the whole body. So when you run an ads and you running me an ad like this, nobody's clicking on this. I, they can't they can't get the picture, they can't get the feel. They don't know, you know, what life this yellow swimsuit is living. But she is giving us life over here. And it's technically the same swimsuit, kinda. Um same thing. Like they're giving us body in these yellow swimsuits. Like she she giving us life. They're giving us life. But this one in the middle, she giving us life. Like this lifestyle. We know that we're going to the beach because we got the hat and the sunglasses. And then we know it's sunny because we got the yellow sunflowers. But, like, something like that, you ain't giving us nothing. See, this, hold on, let me cover it up. This and that is giving us life. This is giving us life. That ain't giving us nothing. I hope that makes sense. Yes, she giving us life over here. She's smiling. Same thing. You know, it just takes a little bit of props to make it pop. 
All right, that's not the lesson of the day. So let me grab us a girl. And I like, I like this girl. She look, she look like she, she look nice. I'm going to screenshot her up real quick. Because we going with yellow. And then, I like her too. She cute. Come here. See, she giving us life again. This girl giving us life. But she might mess us up. But I'm going to see. Like, that, like, if they just put this out here and they didn't have this on her, I would be like, that swimsuit is too complicated. I don't even know how to put that on. We're going to take her, though. She can come, too. All right, so I need to screenshot her. We might not use her, but she can come. Because what else do we... Oh, no, we need to get a, a purse. I'm sorry. We're not going to use her. I'm going to say yellow purse. Y'all like that brand, that Telfair brand? Y'all is really watching me do this. I can't... They don't have a yellow... Let me see. They might do... Is, do that yellow? Yeah, they do have a yellow one. All right, so like, um, I cannot believe y'all are watching me do this. This is so funny. I like this. I like these Telfair bags. I think they're super cool. But you got to be able to get one like so fast because they sell out. But I like this one the most. This is giving me fashion vibes okay but see how this is plain and it's no like it's just the product photo but then they put in it in a lifestyle setting now they're showing you the bag with the phone they're showing you details like get into the details she in get into it they showing you inside it so now you can picture the purse as your own but if they just showed you like a plain bag you were like, oh, it's cute. It's all right. Oh, and oh, no, they didn't. They done showed you what it's going to look like on your arm. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I'm talking about, okay? This is what I'm talking about. This is how your product photo should be looking. You better give me some lifestyle, sis. So, I'm going to take, I got to find us a photo for our, uh, I'm going to take the plain one because I already got the girl in my yellow. So, I'm going to take this. I'm teaching and I'm building a whole brand right now. All right. I sure wish y'all can come help me fold these boxes and package these orders. Because, Lord, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I got to get the bag. Oh. All right. Let me go back. Let me. Um. Let me see. You don't sell items, you sell emotion. That's the key to my market to marketing. My professor told me, Yes, girl, you selling that experience. Yes, that is true. You don't sell products. Everybody sells products. You sell an experience, okay? Yes, you gotta make people feel like they need your item. So I'm just screenshotting some stuff. Where's our brand? Okay. All right, so here we go. <coughs> now I gotta get the photos. Let me see. I don't want that girl in orange, but she can come. All right. So I get the items. I got the items. Boom, boom. And then I'm just going to like, I'm not going to get too complicated with this, but you just fill up the space, if that makes sense. So you just put her right there where she needs to be. And it can get, like, overly complicated, which I said I'm not trying to go there. But, like, basically, I would feel her, and then I would go. I said I wasn't going to get complicated, and I just got complicated. But this is just some hacks for y'all to know how to work this. So then you get a square, and then you um, turn it, and you kind of make it match. And then Canva lets you pull the color. So I'm pulling that brown. And then I'm putting it behind it. And then I'm making it bigger so that I can fill the space. So now it kind of blends. Like I, I'm not going to, 
I told y'all I wasn't gonna um, stress it, but I'm a perfectionist, so I'm trying to get it right. It pulled the color, but it wasn't really the right color, but whatever. All right, we're rolling with it. All right, that's our picture. That's our girl. She's stressing me out. Okay, and now I'm gonna put our purse over here, like so. And then I'm gonna just go back. Is it back? Um, I need to go one more back. Oh, Lord, you're stressing me out. I think that's right. Oh, Lord, that went away. All right, one more. Oh, there we go. All right. So now they're here. And like, if, like, this girl, I feel like she's too yellow. So what I'll do is I'll do a square, like so. And then I'll make it smaller, like that. I'll put like a, a tint over it. And that way, you can't really tell, like she's not as yellow as that. And then I just duplicate it. And then I do the same thing here. And then I just need to back it up. All right, is that right? I think I need to go one back. Boom. All right, so now we're here. And so these are our two pictures that we're advertising. And I might change this to like whatever color my square is. Or I can, all right, that's too, I can do this. Wait. All right, I might do that. And then I might, remember I changed that background color, but I can change it again. And I might say white now. Oh, all right. We giving looks, sis. And then this, I can keep that that color. I can change it. I could put a hue in the background. Or I can uh, keep it. And then you can get just super, super creative. You can do like a wave. Like... I would do a wave Wait. Um, like this. And you can keep it white or this is where you can come in and add some more blue. You got to kind of color match, but you get the gist. And you can add some blue to add the blue back into it. Or, oh, y'all can't even see my wave, Lord. Why y'all didn't tell me? Or, oh, Lord. Like that. And then, like, put some more down here. Like this. Um, Like that or something like that. Or, like, one wave like that. All right, all right, something like this, but what y'all think of my photo? Am I giving y'all water wave vibes? Am I giving y'all lifestyle? Are y'all gonna buy my swimsuit and my purse? Or no? And now I'm gonna give y'all a little description. I'm selling my bathing suit for $40 because I'm giving y'all $40 vibes with my photo. So, um, I'm going to sell it for $40. And I'm about to reel y'all in with this, with the name. All right, my swimsuit name. All right, what we naming this swimsuit, y'all? And my purse is, um, that's $25. Because she popping and she unique. All right, y'all tell me some names so we can name the items. Lord, let me back up. All right, let me see what y'all said. I don't care how long you've been on live, but can you please share strategies on how to build IG business followers and how to find the right followers to engage with, with them? With the follower, please. Um, like this, creating content that make you want to click, creating content that make you want to pop, creating content for people to say, oh, yes, I need that in my life, or I need to know more about this brand. And then they're going from the photo to your page 
clicking and then they following because your whole feed look like this your whole feed is popping but um yeah i have a few videos on instagram live if you go on my page i mean on instagram if you go on my youtube page i i have an instagram playlist y'all ain't telling me no names what are we supposed to name the items let me look and see y'all gave me some names golden goddess for the swimsuit okay Okay, Kendra, come through with the name. We'll be naming the purse. Pyramid vibes. Oh, see, we was on the same page. <laughs> yes, we giving pyramid vibes. Um, all right. So I got another challenge for y'all. Y'all give me a description of the bathing suit and the purse. And Whoever gave me a description that's like bomb.com, I'll do an Instagram audit before I get off live. So go. I need a description. You can pick one item or you can do both. I need y'all to describe the item to me. What? Why I need to? You know what's gonna be on the page when I click on this swimsuit? What is what's gonna be there? How are y'all gonna describe this bathing suit? What y'all telling me about it? Why do I need it? What's going on with it? What kind of vibes is it giving? Use your imagination. Oh Lord, I done put the wrong thing. Golden goddess. Swimsuit. All right. Who doesn't want a free Instagram audit? Like, I charge $80 for my Instagram audit. So y'all better be getting descriptive. What's going on with the items? Why do, why we need to buy them? Y'all better get into it. What's this called? What's it called? Pyramid. What y'all say? The first pyramid scheme. I like that. <sighs> I don't see no script. No, um, Lord, I'm spelling this wrong. I don't see no, um, entries. Pyramid. I'm gonna do this pyramid purse for now. And then we could come back and we could talk about it. I'm going all off to the side. All right, let me check the comments. Let me see what y'all are talking about. <laughs> we should do a challenge and enter our designs. Yes, girl. We need to. So y'all can get Canva Savvy. Summer Getaway Collection, Essential Summer Vibes. Can just uh, take a dive into our luxurious swimsuit. Silky smooth fabric that just sits on your skin. Okay, girl, let them know. Okay, Kendra. Is this all the submissions? <coughs> I'm going to give y'all about 30 more seconds to answer y'all y'all submissions. Because I don't want to miss nobody. I got 15 people watching. And y'all mean to tell me y'all ain't got nothing to say? Y'all, this is y'all time to, let me put this back on me while I wait. This is y'all time to learn. Like, nobody here is judging you. Nobody here is laughing at you. Nobody here is saying, oh, my God, that was such a, you know, dumb answer. Nobody is saying anything like this. Like, this is a learning zone. So, if I got 15 people watching, I should have 15 people comment down below. Crazy thing is there's never no wrong answer. There's never a wrong answer. And also, if you never ask, you'll never know. See, closed mouths don't get fed. So I remember a time where, like, people, like, in class, the teacher would say in, in my freshman year, in my English class, he would say, okay, who want to get that paper put on the board? And he would put the paper on the board, and then he would say, he if you got your paper put on the board, he will make the corrections in class for the whole class to see. 
And then people would like not do it because they was embarrassed of their paper. But like I wasn't embarrassed because you about to give me an A because you about to correct my paper right here, right now, right here today. Like sign me up because I'm about to get an A now because at this point, like I like you correcting my paper and why everybody in the class was judging, laughing and looking like I was getting an A. And they were trying to think about it and I was getting me an A because see when I went home that night to change my paper or you know correct my paper for my final draft my teacher already did on my my professor let me say my professor because that's what they are in college <laughs> my professor had already did all my edits um for me so all I had to do was change them you know so I want to encourage y'all on this live to to comment, to answer, to push your questions out there. We're doing a free activity on creating a brand. And like, this is your time to put stuff out there for me to correct it. And then for you to take those corrections and apply it to your brand. If you're watching this video, obviously you want to grow. Obviously you want to learn more. Obviously you want your business to pop. So like, how am I supposed to know who's watching and who needs help? That type of thing if you're not commenting. So, yeah. So, my printer just stopped. This label maker just started. Stop labeling. All right. Let me try. All right. I'm about to read y'all comments. Give me one second. All right. I give up because it's still acting broke. All right. Let me read. I'll come back to that. Let's get into it. So let me go back to the post. So the object, um, object, our objective was to um, create a description for either the swimsuit or the purse to make you want to buy. Because I already created the graphic. I have the graphic here. It's ready to go. It's a bomb graphic. People are clicking. People are ready to buy. They're like, where can I get it? How do I get it? And then y'all were creating the descriptions and stuff for um, me to sell it. So I'm going to go through everybody's and just say what I think. So um, this is constructive criticism. It's not like a way to embarrass anybody or anything like that. So let's see. So summer fun collection. So, okay, summer fun collection. That doesn't really tell me anything. Like we're having summer fun, um, but like what's going on? Like we, we're targeting people that's 18 to 25. So, you know, summer fun is kind of like childish kitty more for people that's like you know their summer fun like they're 16 they just got out of high school or they're you know on break from high school so they're not really like you know like summer fun like that, that's what when I think of summer fun that's what I think of um so I feel like summer fun doesn't really go with that age range so summer getaway collection now that that goes like okay we going on a trip we giving vacation vibes we got the swimsuit we got the purse like we giving getaway vibes so i do like that um but it's not descriptive enough like that would be the collection name but how would you describe the items and then i also like essential summer vibes basically meaning that you need these items in your essential summer collection but like again be more descriptive on like the items so like essential summer vibes you would be like you know this one piece um swimsuit that hugs your curves but make your back back look sexy along with our pyramid purse that you know completes your golden goddess look something like that to like explain what's going on all right, so we got Kendra that says, take a dive into our luxurious swimsuit. Silky smooth fabric just sits on your skin. Love it. Um, Brittany said, are you going to the beach this summer? Feel comfortable through the day with the golden goddess. Stand out, stand out with the perfect glow. Yeah, it's like that as well. So you asked the question. I always try to ask a question um, at the beginning of my caption because it gets them to thinking so are you going to the beach this summer yes i'm going to the beach this summer you know like yeah that's me like i'm going to the beach why what's up you know and then it's like okay so this swimsuit is going to make me feel comfortable throughout the day 
Um, and then also we're going to stand out because we got a perfect glow. So I would combine Kendra's and Britney's together and I would say, are you going to the beach this summer? Feel comfortable throughout the day in our golden goddess swimsuit that's made from silky smooth fabric that just sits on your skin and give you that perfect glow. You see how we put those two together and it creates a whole, um, like it, it creates a whole little saying. Um, so then I got another one that says tap into our summer essentials collection, providing the quality and sun kiss strip you need. Love it. Love it. Um, can you say tap into the goddess within? Cross straps are secure. Has a unique design to show your body in this fabulous one piece. Yes. So like we basically can combine those together and get one good caption. So I'm going to combine them together. And so it'll start off. So the caption will start off and it'll say, um, let me flip it to me. So if I was making this caption on Instagram or if I was making a description for the product or for the collection, <laughs> we know that the collection is going to either be called the Summer Getaway Collection or the Essential Summer Vibes Collection. Um, <coughs> we know that the purse is somehow going to have the word pyramid in it. And then it's going to, like the description is going to say, are you going to the beach this summer? Because we're pulling people in to get those summer vibes. Feel comfortable throughout the day with our golden goddess swimsuit that has a silky smooth fabric that just sits on your skin that's providing um quality and sun-kissed drip that you need to get the perfect glow and then if we wanted to add more details we can say um the cross strips are secure and has a unique design to show your body in the fabulous one piece <laughs> I, girl i was looking for you i was like i know you got some i know you got a description drip for me okay um basically what happened is i told them to describe these two items and um they created a description for the items and uh we put it together and we created one big description but it was like whoever had the best description i was gonna do an instagram audit for them live so um what do y'all think about the total caption that we came up with is it good y'all like it <coughs> was it was it lit we lit we selling the items are we selling can we sell the items for forty dollars and twenty five dollars with that caption with those photos can we sell those items at forty and twenty five dollars we got the graphic so so all together, we have Waterway Boutique that we now know that targets people between 18 and 25, or I think that's what we said, 18 and 25. Our colors is yellow, blue, and white, because we giving y'all summer vibes. We sell clothes, we sell tops, bottoms, vintage items, swimsuits, purses. We got you covered. We also know that we're more on the higher end because our items, our price ranges is between forty and twenty five. Like our swimsuits is forty dollars, so that's costly when you get a swimsuit at Walmart for fifteen. So we know we're more on the luxury end, but also we have unique items. You know, we got a purse that looks like a pyramid. We got a bathing suit that's giving you cross strap vibes in the back. Okay, so then we get into the details, and we know like the way it makes you feel the glow it gives you you know it's giving you summer vibes you're gonna want it you're gonna want to buy it you're gonna be like yes i need that in my life sign me up it's 40 dollars. i don't care i want to feel those vibes i want to have the perfect glow you know i want it to be secure but i also want it to be sexy you know i want it to be flattering but i want it to also cover my you know cover my body and then i need this bag to match because I want to be unique. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to figure out what you're selling. Like you got to, am I selling quality? Because if we're selling quality, we want, okay? Top tier. Okay? The gang is top tier. We want. So with that being said, um, I thank everybody for participating. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad y'all 
all love it. So I'm going to do a Instagram audit for um, Kendra. So drop your Instagram name, Kendra. Um, um, Brittany, drop your Instagram. Gloriana, drop your Instagram. Um, and then, of course, Nubian Banks and Coco Inks. Drop your Instagram. Trying to see who else says something. Desiree, if you in here, drop your Instagram. Um, and I think that's everybody that participated. So y'all all get Instagram audits. So let's go. So drop your Instagram if you got one. <coughs> and I will... Um, so... I would rather you have your business Instagram. So if you come back to a live and once you have your business Instagram up, let me know and I owe you a IG live. So I mean, I owe you an Instagram audit. So like if you come to another one of my lives, I'm gonna do, just say, Jay, you owe me an Instagram audit and I'll do one for you. So I'm gonna um, go to Instagram so I can get into these audits really quick. And then even if I'm not doing your Instagram, um, you can still listen and take points from it. So just stick along. Thank y'all for participating. I appreciate it. All right, True Dior Beauty Lounge. All right, let me flip. Okay. I'm sad you missed it. Yes, I know I've been on live for a really long time, so some people kind of came in at the end. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I need to do more Instagram audits, but I always, I really always do Instagram audits on my live. Uh-uh, nah. No, you cannot tell me you don't have no business Instagram yet. All right, so... All right, so two people told me they didn't have a business Instagram. So I'll add another one for anybody else that do have an Instagram. Because, I, Brittany, I don't know if you have an Instagram, but I told you to drop it if you do. Hi, y'all trying to win the, win the contest with no Instagram, but I still appreciate y'all for participating. So this is True Dior Beauty Lounge. This is Gloriana. So basically what I do is I just tell you, what I would change on your Instagram. Um, <clears throat> all right. So going into it, I like the name. I think it's different. Um, I have never seen, you know, a name like this. I love it. It's cute. Um, I would say with this photo, if the butterfly is going to be your logo, that type of thing. Um, no, y'all are fine if y'all don't have Insta business Instagrams, but y'all better not be launching no business soon without a business Instagram. Um, so if so, I'm gonna need y'all to create them Instagrams tonight. So this is True Dior Beauty Lounge, like I said. Um, if the butterfly is your logo, I like that. I would just say make this picture bigger or make the background darker so the name stands out more so that people can see it from far away. Let's go into the bio. So, um, hold on, y'all. I gotta get some water. I'm so thirsty. I've been talking for like two hours. Hold on. I'm coming back. My ears hurt. I've been talking so long. I'm coming back. Oh my god, I was so thirsty. <laughs> okay i'm ready all right so all right so let's go all right so this says website launch comes soon come so you just want to change that to website launch coming soon take out the emojis because these emojis don't represent um they really just don't have anything to do with go what what is going on Sorry, I'm so thirsty. All right. I like that you're telling me what you're selling. I don't know what these emojis is, but it's just way too much mo emojis all together. 
So if you want to do the butterflies, do the butterflies. That's fine. But you don't need these emojis and all of these. So you just need one emoji. So I recommend using one emoji. I love that you um talk about what you sell. So you don't have to say like luxury for mink lashes. You can just say mink lashes because um, if it's luxury lashes, then it will show in your items custom jewelry, authentic products, and then you got your name. So once you get ready to launch the website, you will want another call to action right here that says shop now, shop here, that type of thing with a link to your website. Instagram highlights. So this just says highlights. How right here, this says highlights. I need you to name this something. If it's behind the scenes, then let's name it behind the scenes. If it's lashes, Let's name it lashes, that type of thing. If this is going to be you or your customers, then name it feedback, reviews, that type of thing. You should have um, up to like five, I would say three to five highlights showcasing things about your brand. These highlights stay forever. So you want it to be stuff that people that's just coming to your page, um, you want it to be things that they would need to know or things that they may be interested in looking at. So just make sure that your highlights aren't just called highlights. Make sure they're called names. And as you can see, if the name is too long, it cuts it off. So try to make it like something short, simple that people can see. Um, <clears throat> scrolling down, let's get into these posts. So we know that from up here that your colors are going to be like this blue and black um, and white color scheme. So you want to make sure that you keep that color scheme on the feed. Um, of course, like when people take product photos, those product photos may be different colors. Um, that's fine. You just want to like keep the thing going. So like you have, you know, the blue tweezers, which is good. You have um, the white background with the silver, which is good. You got the glue. So these things are good. Um captions are long enough um i will say just try to get a website as soon as possible because telling people to dm to place orders is going to be a little confusing because people do not feel comfortable giving that information out through dm so you want to have a trusted website that people can use to purchase the item so you can lose sales by not having a website also tags um, you tagged eyelash glue. So eyelash glue has a hundred and one hundred thousand posts in it. So it's gonna be like hard for you to stand out when you know it's a it's a hundred thousand posts in it. So make sure that your hashtags that you're using are um between like fifteen to twenty k. That way you can get your products out. And so you have vegan free, but that's not really helping anything because look, none of these products in this hashtag has any correlation to what you sell. Now this is, let me go back up. I think this is, so this is most recent. So this is people that have posted like a minute ago, you know, that type of thing. But if you look at the top, these are the top posts in this feed. It doesn't have anything to do with makeup, lashes, that type of thing. So this wouldn't be a good hashtag to use because like people that's into lashes or into, you know, makeup, that type of thing, they're not going to be clicking. They're not going to be typing in vegan free. And then you saying vegan free, but then you saying you're selling fur mink lashes. That can be a little contradicting because um, people that's vegan, they really go hard on the lashes um they don't really mess with any lashes that got hair on it so it's like you're gonna bring trolls to your page if that makes sense um but like if this glue is vegan free then that's fine but you don't have to like it's fine to have any comments but you don't have to list it right here because you're bringing people that like like that's into all vegan things um, customer care, that isn't a really good hashtag because, again, if you go onto the hashtag, you literally see nothing beauty related. 
So a good hashtag to use inside of cust instead of customer care maybe like beauty brand, um, small business, black owned business, things like that to talk about a brand. Um, I said talk. Um, again. It's not really in, like the hashtags, they can just be more beauty focused instead of just throwing hashtags. Because when you just create any kind of hashtags, it don't help you get reach because you're not like showcasing your products to people that need to see it. People that like lashes or like makeup or like beauty, that type of thing. So make sure that your hashtags that you're using correlate to the products that you're selling. And that's how you can get more views and that type of thing on the hashtags um like quality control lashes that's not gonna do anything for you because um like unless that's your hashtag name like you're gonna like say hashtag quality control lashes that's not really helping you because people that's looking for lashes isn't searching quality control lashes or stainless steel lashes they're not searching those things those are vendor hashtags for people that are business owners but not people that are selling products to the customers so if you were selling this to the customers you would say like lash applicator um 3d mink lashes or fluffy lashes or natural lashes cheap lashes luxurious lashes words like that to get people to look at the lashes but words like this it's just vendor words which isn't helping you in the end because people that are searching um lash scissors or eyelash applicators or lash tools or real mink fur lashes those type of words they're looking to um buy lashes like for their business not to become customers so product photo shoot that doesn't help you because this is more so like for photography this is for people that you know are photographers that are shooting product photos that's trying to get their um photography brand out there so make sure that your hashtags correlate to like the beauty makeup industry, what I would say is go look at other people hashtags that sell the same items as you and see what hashtags correlate um, that match up or that you frequently see. But besides that, um, I love that you have photos of people in your lashes. I love that you're using memes and quotes, and I love that you're showcasing the items. All of that is fine, but to get more reach, you want to make sure that you're using the right hashtags to build your page. So, oh, <clears throat> I'm thirsty again, but I hope that helps. Let me go back up. Um, even if you don't have products in stock, you still should be trying to start an Instagram. All right, let me go back up. So, I hope that really helps. All right, so, next is K. Sweet Mink Lash. Co, I can't, wait, did I spell it right? Wait, okay, that's why I couldn't find the door. All right, all right, let me get some more water. Okay, so this is where I'm at now. Ooh, it's so cold. Hold on, let me get my blanket. Yeah, I got to my bed time. Okay, all right. These are my new lash styles that I'm testing. If y'all seen them, like I'm testing them. So that's y'all little sneak peek um, for some new collections. All right, let's go. So off the rip, I can tell your colors are pink and white. Love that. I'm instantly able to see that, okay, this is, you know, girly, cute. This is for someone that's into, like, pink and just love, you know, being a girly girl. So, this is going to automatically attract those type of people. And I didn't even scroll down yet, and I get that from this little square right here. So, the logo I love, um, <coughs> I would say, like, 
try different colors like maybe put light pink in the background and that may pull some more of the logo at the bottom like if you make the background light pink and that way it's like pink on pink and so when people see you on the highlight page um or see you at the on the stories at the top you stand out because you know it's not like a white background or just a photo it's like an actual color in the background i think pretty little things I think their logo is pink. Let me see. Oh, well, right now their logo is like rainbow, but it's usually pink. But you can see like people that have like pretty in their name, they all kind of have white, but you want to stand out and you want to get like this, like Mocha P Beauty. She has like that light pink color in the background so it makes her logo stand out more all right so um love this sweet sweet meat slash cold so this is the word that appears in people dm so let's say like if you was dming like a brand ambassador or dming like a pr person or handling like a customer service question through dms this is the name that's going to pop up so you guys want to make sure that this name right here is the name of your brand or something that's searchable so i you don't have to put llc you can but honestly that's like you know for like the back and stuff so you can keep it at sweet meats co um <coughs> Oh, a little eye candy never hurt nobody. Okay, so that lets me know that you sell something related to eyes. I know it's lashes from your name. So, at this point, I know you sell eye candy. Sweets, eye candy, mink lash co. Like that all lets me know right off the bat that you sell mink lashes. Um, I don't know if the K wasn't available, but... Uh, if it is, you could change it, but if it's not, then it's fine. But that, like, all together, I know that you sell lashes and your theme is candy related. So, you say you you offer sizzle and quad pay. So, you can say something like, now offer sizzle and quad pay or we offer sweat sizzle and quad pay. Because you as a business owner may know what that means, but people that um don't know what they are may not know what that is so they may think that that's a product that you sell you know so you want to say we now offer or something like that i know like the bio is limited but somehow like let people know like it's something that you offer <coughs> fast shipping like that um so with this one it can be a little tricky like fast shipping is good just make sure you guys aren't putting no dates like don't say like three to five day fast shipping that type of thing um if you want to say that you have fast shipping that's fine but don't put a like a time frame on it because if you miss that time frame you're then um uh what are you doing <laughs> over promising under delivering and then you got sweet meats babe to be featured so this is her hashtag so if i click this hashtag i should be seeing pictures of people in her lashes that have used that hashtag which is the what i see so that is good so she's encouraging people to use this hashtag to be tagged. I recommend that everybody has a personal hashtag that can be used for their brand because that's how you're going to get people to um, make brand awareness for you. If they use that hashtag, then people can click on that hashtag. And also, as you can see, you can follow a hashtag. So a hashtag is followable. So when you follow a hashtag, you see all the posts under that hashtag. It's just like following a person. Then um, she has a call to action that says shop here. And you know that you click here to shop. Now, what I would say change on this is change it to the collection pages. Because I know from here that this takes me to the home page. But I want you to take me to this shop page. So I want you to take me here. So what I want you to do, this is a pop-up, which I love. Um, but copy this, and then you want to put it right here. 
and that's gonna be your um that's gonna be the link that people click so when they click this is what i was talking about earlier they already hit your product page and they're ready to buy you know like they don't have to even think about it they already here so yeah um I, i'm thinking i'm thinking kate and watch my instagram video which she has been like a subscriber for so long so um I'm thinking she did because she got everything right. So, I, I'm going to give her that. <laughs> she got everything right. So, right here, this is what I was saying about the um, highlight areas. You want it to be named things that people can click on. So, like, orders. So, I know if I click on this hashtag, I should be seeing people with their orders, which is what I see. And then, um, Tips. So I know if I want to know more tips about lashes and more tips about, you know, taking care of my lashes, that type of thing, I know I can click on this hashtag. And these things are always here. Um, they never go away. So when new people come to her page, they're able to click tips and they're able to see the items. Shop, I should be seeing her lash styles, which I see. So that's good. That gives her... That gives, her customers are up close view of her lashes. This again is her hashtags, her personal hashtags. So I should be seeing people in the lashes, which I see. Reviews is people, you know, talking about the lashes. So perfect on that. Scroll down to the feed. Um, I love the color schemes. I love that you're using, you know, your pink and white. You have these cute candy holders, which I love so much. So I'm gonna click on a photo and see what kind of hashtags you got. Water break. <laughs> so let me read. Lash bands are thin and flexible to provide seamless yet comfortable wear for any eye shape. The lash band itself is undetectable to give the illusion that you are wearing lash extensions. Perfect. Like it. Um, you talk about what's going on with the lashes, that type of thing. But I'm gonna get you because I don't see no hashtag and you better make me cry because why don't you have no hashtags on this? You got 80 likes. You could have like tripled these likes with hashtags because let me tell y'all again what I was explaining about Instagram earlier. Instagram said, oh, people really like this. They're liking it. And then they would have said, oh, let me push it to more people because now everybody that if you would have had hashtags right here, everybody that was following those hashtags or looking at those hashtags would have seen your product. And then they would have liked it because it's already getting likes. And then Instagram would have pushed it to the explore page. So every time you don't have hashtags, you're missing out on thousands of people seeing your product. So this is like basically if you were selling the item in your hometown and you was only selling to your hometown, but if you had like a website, then you could sell to worldwide. Same thing with hashtags. Um, but then I think you got hashtags on this. Yes. All right. So she got hashtags on this. So let me just go through the hashtags. Um, um, let me see. These are all good. Um, these are familiar hashtags in the beauty industry. If you guys are not, you know, like used to seeing hashtags or beauty hashtags, then I would say, like I said, um, go look up different hashtags. But I can already tell that I know that these are hashtags in the beauty industry. Um, uh oh, we reconnecting. Uh oh, my phone dying. Hold on, gotta get a charger. We might die. My Instagram won't let me be great. Oh, no. Are y'all still here? It says reconnecting. I think I've been on too long. <laughs> it doesn't like me. Okay, you still here? Okay, cool. It say reconnecting, so I didn't know. I flip it. Okay, so um, 
Damn, I forgot what I was saying. But these are good hashtags, like Crown Cuties. If you click on that, you'll see um crown cuties is people that wear makeup so this is what you want the hashtag to look like you want it to be full of items that is related to you so you know these people they like beauty they like stuff like this y'all look at my little post okay come through <laughs> but yeah so that this is what happened if you get a post really good and on the explore page i thought the live had in it too um, if you get a post on the explore page, it will show up in the top post. So um, even though I'm on the third row of the top post, I'm still on the top post. So um, yeah, so this is what people see when they type in crown cutie and then they come and follow your girl at Blinkin' Wink Me. So without having those hashtags, you're missing out on getting here. So yes. Um, let me go back. Um, but yeah, besides that, I love everything else, girl. I love everything else. You just can't be missing out on those hashtags again. But that looked like the only post that you missed out on. So I'm gonna let you pass. But that was definitely an opportunity to get on the explore page. So I would recommend posting another picture like this with maybe two different styles but adding the hashtags and let's see if you can double that but yeah i love it perfect just a little bit thing to work on all right what else do i have nothing that's it oh i have one more all right i do one more and then y'all yeah, gotta go to bed i need to package my orders i gotta like package my orders i either wake up early and do them but i'm still within like my time frame I try to I try to get tracking numbers out within like two days after ordering and then I ship on like the third day, sometimes the second day, depending on how many orders I got. All right. All right, let's go. <coughs> so this is Bad Eyes Beauty. Um I think I said it right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um so this logo, like I said, this is this is what I was talking about. Like, make sure the background is darker so that the logo actually sticks out. So I like that this is dark in the background and the logo sticks out. Um, so right here, I would say make sure this B is capitalized. You want to make it look seamless and professional. And then right here, like, you want to give me some more pizzazz. You want to tell me what else I need to look at. Like... You want to make sure that, you know, like, you want to make this just pop more. So, you got luxurious, cruelty-free, 100% 3D mink lashes and lip gloss. So, you can change that up. You can say something else. You can say um, 3D mink lashes, handmade lip gloss, 100% cruelty-free. Shop here. Put a down arrow. Go to your website. So, you can put it in a stacked order versus this long sentence that looks like a run-on. That way people know exactly what you're selling. Again, this highlights should be labeled with a highlight cover. That way people know exactly what they're buying or looking at. And then with the photos, um, I would say just get more creative with the graphics. Like I can tell that your graphics is probably made in your stories which is fine for your stories but you want the graphics on your page to pop more you know like i love that you're showcasing your lashes i love that you're showing them off but like you want to get a color scheme because right now i'm not really seeing like a color scheme i see you have like the pink mellers but you know you can be adding some more like hot pink like this is red but that could be pink hot pink and that would give you some more pink you know like you you just want to make sure that everything is co uh cohesive all the way down the line um this i can't really see what that is so like i said i can tell that these are coming from your store but you want to make sure that the post on your feed is just more like professional like i love this i love that you're showing us you know how to clean the lashes which is fine 
um but like that cover photo i can't tell you know like what that is right there um <laughs> caption is long enough just these hashtags make sure that they're more involved than like just meat lashes meat strip lashes like make sure that you are targeting people that would be wearing lashes such as people that like makeup so you know makeup users makeup tutorials eyeshadow look eye makeup looks that type of thing make sure you're targeting people that wear makeup because just saying like mink lashes that type of thing you're going to be targeting people that want to buy lashes and you can use up to 30 hashtags so take advantage of that and use all 30 again these are good but you can just add so many more um also i love the logo on these i love the um jewels um but you can like make the background like maybe you can get like a light pink construction paper or a light piece of fabric from like your fabric store but like make sure you being consecutive because like with the green and the black in the background you want to make sure that it's like pink because like from what i've seen i think your colors are pink um but yeah i overall i like it i just think that as far as like quality on quality quotes and stuff on the page like not utilizing your story as much but taking that same um effort that you do with with using the instagram stories and use it in canva and that's going to really like spice up the page like you have the products but you got to be able to like sell them you know but overall um i think it's a start and i think you're doing good with posting and you got to post up here and you know people are you know liking it so you're doing good you're doing great you just want to put some more pizzazz in it um see like right here you only use one two hashtags when you could be using like 30 you know to get more people viewing it so I hope that helps, but I'm going to be checking on y'all with these Instagrams to just make sure um, that y'all are, like, you know, making the changes. But, yeah, like, put this into, like, a, a, like, stacked form, and you do it in your notes, and then you copy it into the Instagram bio. So you create your bio in your notes, and then copy it into Instagram bio, and that's how you can stack it. <coughs> But yeah, y'all, so did y'all like tonight live? Did y'all stay? Um, how was it? Was it good? Y'all good? Um, even if y'all are just starting a business, that type of thing, make sure that you get an Instagram. Make sure that you um, go ahead and start your Instagram. Even if you don't have products, you still want to start. You want to be posting quotes, knowledgeable information, coming soon, behind the scenes, that type of thing. Make sure you're posting as consistently as possible. If you can post every day, post every day. Take advantage. But yes. Yes. I appreciate y'all tonight. This was way longer than an actual YouTube video. So, so I hope y'all like these lives. And I appreciate y'all for sticking with me for three hours. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, three hours. Um, I love y'all. I love the game. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your sisters, tell your aunties, tell your cousins, tell everybody. Come join us. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Bye. Good night. Have a good night, everyone.